Welcome to St. Peter Lutheran Church at the Beach, Fort Myers Beach, Florida. My name is Deacon Lisa Miller. Thank you for spending time with us today. Our scripture today comes from Luke chapter 12. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, Friend, who set me to be a judge or arbitrator over you? And Jesus said to them, Take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Then he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly. And he thought to himself, What should I do? For I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to myself, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this very night your life is being demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves, but are not rich towards God. The last parts of us to be converted are our pocketbooks and purses. Many of us are so secretive about our feelings on the subject of money that we have concealed them even from ourselves in our unconscious minds. Unconsciously, we yearn for more material things, while consciously, we think we want Christ's kingdom. We live in fear of scarcity that causes us to keep focused on making and having enough money. We have a lot of anxiety around having enough. In this parable of the rich fool, we see the tension in the heart of every Christian, a tension affecting poor and rich alike. How do we resolve the conflict between our desires for earthly and heavenly treasure, earthly and heavenly security, kingdom values, and the values of the world? A newspaper headline for this story might be, Heart of Rich Man Drunk with Greed. In verse 15, Jesus tells us to watch out, be on guard against all kinds of greed. We want more than we need because we think it will do things like raise our status or fill an empty void inside of us. Greed pulls us away from who we truly want to be. Greed steals our contentment, our peace, our joy, and can become all-consuming. The rich man in this parable demonstrates selfishness with no thought for the community around him. His attitude shows a belief that he earns what he has and doesn't view it as a gift from God. He looks to material things to provide for his security. God exposes this man's false sense of security in verse 20 by telling him, this very night your life is being demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? In the face of death, what will our lives have meant? This parable illustrates that a person's life does not consist in the abundance of their possessions, because clearly we can't take it with us. God desires us to be rich toward God, to free us from all kinds of greed, to be in a righteous relationship with him, we can actively work on our relationship with God through prayer, worship, being in community, study of scripture, service, and generosity. This keeps us centered and focused on what's important. Greed, selfishness, and focusing only on ourselves and what benefits us is a failure to trust in God. It's a fear that God doesn't love me enough. Let us turn our hearts towards God, storing up treasures towards God and not towards ourselves. Now go into your day with this blessing. God, the creator, strengthen you. Jesus, the beloved, fill you. And the Holy Spirit, the comforter, keep you in peace. Amen.